everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Saturday, July 25th, 2020, and the time is, let me look and see what the time is. There's only one time where I'm at, you know what time that is, it's Jersey time. And right now it's 7.52 p.m. Yes, I'll say it again, Jersey time. Okay, so we got another Blue Zero Hero story for you. He's not only been a Blue Zero Hero once, he's, he's going for two. And this one is reported at NJ.com and it reads as follows. New Jersey police officer previously charged with assault, now under investigation for tackling a teen. And there's his face right there. Take a good look at that hero right there. Oh, he's a hero. Look at him. He's a fine, upstanding, well-trained professional out risking everybody's life, keeping the neighborhood safe. So let's find out what's going on. So there is a video with this. I'll see if I can't grab it and put it in the uh, video for you. And this comes out of Carter Rep, New Jersey. I believe that's in Union County. That would be two counties north of me, probably about a 40-mile hike. 30 mile hike, something like that. A police officer who stood trial last year on assault charges is under investigation after a video was posted on social media of the cop tackling a bystander following a drug arrest. Now this clown, a couple years ago, I think I might have did a story on it, I don't remember, but uh, he, uh, got, he manhandled a 16 year old, a 16 year old who was alleged to have taken his father's car, I believe it was, and uh, this clown here uh, got a little rough and he got charges brought up against him. Joseph Ryman, an officer with the Carteret Police Department and the brother of Carteret Mayor Daniel Ryman. Oh, look at that, more nepotism. That's how he got the job. Of Mayor Daniel Ryan was charged with aggravated assault after an altercation with a teenager in 2017. He was acquitted after a much publicized trial. Now his department's internal affairs unit is investigating him for the incident last Friday in the borough, Police Chief Dennis McFadden said in an email. According to a statement released by the police, Corey O'Neill, 18, was near the corner of Pershing Avenue and Union Street in Carteret when two other individuals were being arrested. Members of the Carteret Police Department, Special Investigation Unit, and Street Crimes Unit had observed those two individuals conducting hand-to-hand -hand drug transactions, according to a statement from the police department. As the two people were being arrested, O'Neill was interacting with the two people, police said. He also patted, he was also patted down by police officers and was cleared to leave. Well, if he's cleared to leave, he's cleared to stay. O'Neill police said, O'Neill police said, refused to leave the area and continued to distract the officers conducting their investigation. A video of the incident recorded by a bystander shows O'Neill taking out his cell phone to record the, well, that's what triggered the cop. He took the cell phone out. You know cops don't like phones. They don't like cell phones. They don't like being recorded when they're out there doing mischievous things. O'Neill could be heard shouting at the officers when Ryman, who is wearing jeans, a green t-shirt, and a camouflage baseball hat, tells him to come here. Ryman can be seen walking towards O'Neill, takes out a pair of handcuffs, and then sprints after him. O'Neill briefly runs away before stopping as Ryman gets close to him. Ryman pushes O'Neill to the ground and then puts him in handcuffs. O'Neill's mother can be heard saying, why are you arresting him? He's able to speak. Where's the father? I always hear about the mother. I never hear about the fathers in these situations. O'Neill of South River was charged for obstructing administration of law and disorderly conduct. O'Neill could not be reached for comment and his mother did not return request for comment. And there's a picture of the wonderful outstanding officer. After serving, you know, now here's the problem, and I'm going to tell you right now. After serving multiple tours as a Marine in Afghanistan and Iraq, Ryman joined the Carteret Police Force in July 2015 and quickly became known as an aggressive police officer in the borough, according to previous reporting by NJ Advanced Media. During a 23-month stretch after he became a cop, Ryman accounted for more than 20% of all arrests involved forced by an officer recorded by the department. 
In 2017, Ryman was charged by Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office for aggravated assault, official misconduct, and falsifying reports after an incident with Monte Stewart, who was 16 at the time, following a brief car chase in the Chrome Park section of the borough. Ryman was acquitted of those charges in May 2019, following the trial in Superior Court. After the trial, Ryman returned to the Carteret Police Force, but his role with the department remains unclear. Blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a couple problems here. I, you know, I watched the video. This guy looks like uh, he just got off the football team and he gets triggered and he wants to tackle everybody. See, sometimes I think some of them have issues in their brains and they see somebody run, they think it's the quarterback, these big guys. And so they, their natural instinct is to tackle them. And because he is a big guy, you know, as I would say a million times, big guys only know how to solve problems one way, and that's through intimidation and force muscle. That's how they solve problems. It's just the way it is. That's what they've learned all through life. Intimidation gets what they want and solves a problem. Now, the other big problem here, and I've said this before, and I don't mean any disrespect to those who served in the military. I thank you for your service. But anybody who has served in combat, in this case, more than once, he went back more than once, should be disqualified from being a police officer. I don't care what anybody says. When you go off to war like that and you're in combat, you are not normal when you come back. You will have demons in your brains. It takes a strong mind to get over all that kind of nonsense. I mean, I see a lot of terrible things in the course of my job, and, and you know, I don't see it every day of my life. I just see it once in a while. Something bad comes along, and you know, it's it's a little tough. But when you're in combat, you're right out there on the front line, seeing it happen. You're witnessing it as it takes place. That that. I don't know a better way to say it, but it makes you a little up in the head there. And I don't know if there's really a way to fix that, but I don't think that people who have served in combat should be allowed to be police officers. They just shouldn't, especially this guy wanted to go back more than one time. That tells me he likes that kind of aggressive nonsense. And this officer here is an aggressive officer, and it's, I think it's pretty safe to say at some point, he's either going to hurt somebody really bad or he's going to kill somebody. No doubt he's already cost taxpayers a lot of money. So here we are. We've got another, uh, blue, you know, another one. The writing is on the wall. This is like this uh, Joseph guy out of Millville. I forget his last name there. Who had the, he was the poster boy for the highest use of force in state of New Jersey. You know, the writing was on the wall about the guy. It wasn't until he finally picked a woman up and smashed her on the ground and broke her ribs that it all came to light and he finally uh, got what he deserved, which was off the job and in jail. Well, he can go to jail, but off the job, not to be a police officer anymore. And this cop here, mark my words, we'll be doing another story on him in the future. He needs to be removed from the force. He is dangerous. All right, I will put the link in the description. I'll see if I can grab the video. I've got some new software in that where now that works. And we'll see if we can't get it and we'll include it and you can watch it. Otherwise, you'll have to click on the link and watch it. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, he's coming back for a second one. An aggressive behavior. Blue Zero Hero out of uh, Carteret, New Jersey. This is John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed. Till next time. Why you arresting him though? He's able to speak. Hey yo, what the f are you doing, bruh? Yo, what are you doing? He's able to speak to you. Nah, he didn't hey, do nothing wrong. He didn't cheat to him. Grab my son up by his neck like that. Nah, get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. He's not gonna grab my son up by his neck like that. Mark her for disorderly conduct.
For what? For him ah. telling? For him talking? Ah. For real? Ah. For real? Ah. For real? Ah. You don't get to run around ah. yelling at me for doing conduct. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. You ain't. ain't. So you go grab him up like that? I didn't. He ran. You ain't grab. Hey, Kristen! I got the video. Relax. Take it off, I mean, going down towards Bergen. Let's go, Bergen! Crash down! Crash down! 